Hey guys, it's SF and Izanami Zero is up and hopefully this time I can win. Hopefully this time I've been trying a lot, trying to get a video up, but uh, I have been feeling very, very hard. So hopefully this will be my first actual win for you guys. So my team's gonna be Kali, and Nidai Kanai, and Skuyomi. And my friend is going to be a Agnamut uh, X. Agnamut X. Um, the first, the middle part of the dungeon is hard. The rest is relatively easy. Like the first two, three stage, uh, first two, three stages are relatively easy. Then the last one or two is pretty easy as well. But uh, first floor is that the guy with the uh, knife in his hand on the top will shoot. A healing wall if you defeat it if you don't defeat it within the counter uh, it will do a volatile blast which will almost one hit kill you and just take care of the Bahamut although Nidai Kana is like really really bad in terms of positioning because the Bahamut will shoot a really really powerful spread shot like that that did 21k to Nidai Kanai, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, the the Swedra is not that difficult, it's not that damaging. Uh, it does do a Sleep Meteor, but you can live by taking it and you can stop for turns if you want to. But the Healing Wall does not last forever. I think this is the last shot. For the healing wall so you cannot really stay here forever okay and yeah kind of is perfect okay next phase is uh, mini izanami uh, basically clear the mobs at uh, the onis the demons will shoot damage walls so i'm just gonna use skill me and kali Nidai Kana is perfect for this because he does do a lot of damage. And hopefully I can clear the Bahamut. Guess not. But everybody's away from the spread shot, so it's okay. Just going to go safe for now. The blocks will come up after a few more turns. But basically, mob clear and then work on Izanami after. And the blocks are now here. Whenever you get a chance, use the healing walls. As always. <clears throat> always use the healing walls. Uh, Izanami herself doesn't do uh, that much attacks. After a few more turns, then she doesn't really do anything. Until like her final one hit KO shot. Well, even the one hit KO is not really one hit KO. It's like... 80k to your face. Okay, there goes the. And basically, she attacks. You have about three more turns. And next one is going to be a energy circle. So I want to clear her before I take that damage. Like that. Next bar, not everybody's in the perfect place. Uh, although Skimmy can get out of the out of here because you want to clear off the guy with the knife. If not, then just hope for a good shot at between Izami. And I'm gonna get Agnumin X to get the mob with the fork or somewhere close to it that's fine just get Kali out of that blocks of those blocks and then there we go that's perfect but yeah it kind of does a lot of damage 
If the weak spot's there, then I'm just gonna aim directly for Izanami, but it's not, so gonna heal up. And there goes the Bahamut. And blocks should be coming up like that. I technically don't want to get hit the I don't wanna hit the damage wall. Ouch. It's not really really bad, but you know, I don't wanna take unnecessary damage because this dungeon is no hearts. Okay, next phase, uh, basically mob clear. Uh the spread shot for the Bahamut will be downwards, so as long as you stay above the blocks, it's okay. And clear the and uh, what you call it, the blob minion. I forgot his real name. I'm just gonna pinch him. Oh, can pinch. Blocks will come. Um, uh, we'll switch places in a few turns, so I'm not that worried. Wow, I missed everybody. Okay, here comes the blocks. Wow, that. Irregular bounce. Did you see that? That just like blew me to the uh, what you call it? Uh, to the damage wall. I was like, what the hell? Okay. Next stage is probably the hardest of the all the stages, and that is at the mini Bahamut. Well, the giant Bahamut, and I was sleeped, so that's not good. That's a waste of a turn. And I want to clear minions first. Uh, I should use one strike shot. I want to use one strike shot. I'll use Agnamut. For the mob clear. That's not good. And the minion is not even dead. Okay, that killed it. Oh my god, that is not good. That is definitely not good. Okay. And here comes Izanami. Zero. Just gonna push my thing away. And clear off the blob. Because I want to heal up. Okay. Ouch. I'm gonna heal up. Okay, that's fine. As I stay on top on the top side it should be okay. And hopefully Nirai Kana's bump combo will be in better position after his turn. Ouch. I'm gonna heal up with Kali. Okay. That's fine. Healing wall one's done. So I gotta start getting offensive. Hit. There you go. Survive. Barely survives. Should I use the strike shot? It's a little sketchy for me, at least. I'm a little scared, but I'm not gonna use it. Okay, survive. Ouch. And clear. Okay. Whew. Okay, next bar. Starting off with Kali. Starting off with Kali. And there's that giant Bahamid. I want to clear the giant Bahamid somehow. 
I want to clear off the blob as well. Okay, not bad, not bad so far. It's just a matter of that small blob on the left side that I don't know if I can get to. Hopefully Agnew's homing will do it, do the trick, and it did. Okay. As long as your mob clear, Izanami Zero is not that scary, while well, his attacks are a little bit scary, but as long as you use the healing walls, it should be okay. And Kali does good work as well. Okay, I gotta heal up. I'm just gonna heal up. I don't really care about dealing damage yet. Because the next one is the energy circle, and that's a lot of damage. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, I might get double layered. Ouch. Some got double layered. Where like they hit, they got hit by both the, they got hit by both uh, energy circles, which deals double the damage. Okay, that's a little bit lucky on the paralyzed, so I'm just going to heal up, go straight and heal up. Okay, and finish it off with Yomi. Okay. Last bar, last bar. And starting off with Agna Mood. Technically, I want to start off with an Agna Mood Strike Shot, but that wasn't meant to be. But last bar is just basically focus your Strike Shots onto Izanami Zero. After you clear off the Bahamut, uh, the damage is not like just. So you know, um, I guess I'll go for it. I still have, that is a lot of damage. Oh, come on. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I'm just scared about the spread like that. And screw me. Technically I'm not in the blocks, I think. Yeah, I'm not in the blocks. So I cannot strike shot out. Okay, there goes Izanami Zero. Uh, the evolved form of Izanami. Okay, I'm just gonna strike shot and hope for the best. And this should clear. This should clear even though it's the first stage of the thing. Ouch! Wow, that was close. That was close. I got stuck there. That was a little bit close there. But that is clear Izanami for Izanami Zero. Uh, not sure if you call that really safe, but um, I did have Yomi Strike Shot if I really needed to do it. And I got two drops. That's awesome. Uh, Izanami Zero, uh, if, I'll just put a link to the Monster of the Week analysis I did for her, but she's generally a good monster, although a little bit different from the main one, but she's just as strong in my opinion. And there are some new pal Paladin monsters coming up, and of course Sprites as well, so she will probably be a lot better in the near future, comparative to Izanami, to the normal Izanami. But uh, that's pretty much it for me, I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!